The following video clip will provide information on the RPZE and RPZE2 half inch to 2 inch. The RPZE2 is more compact for tighter installations but has the same basic design as the RPZE and will be serviced in the same way. Let us begin by identifying the major components of your valve. The RPZE consists of an inlet shutoff valve, an outlet shutoff valve, and four vertical test cocks. The valve also includes two spring-loaded check valves and a relief valve assembly located between the two checks. A single access cover allows for easy removal of internal parts during the maintenance of your valve. For your convenience, Flowmatic's backflow preventers are serviced with common tools. No special tools are needed. Begin by removing your valve from service. First, close the outlet shutoff valve, and then the inlet shutoff valve. Next, the internal pressure must be released by using a screwdriver to open the test cocks. Test cock number one will remain closed. Next, use a wrench to take bolts out of top cover. Cover is spring-loaded. To avoid injury, hold cover down firmly with one hand while loosening bolts. Once the valve has been removed from service, the internal components can then be removed and inspected. It is important to service your valve to ensure proper operation. The most common malfunction of backflow preventers is the presence of foreign material. Relief Valve Servicing Half Inch Through Two Inch The RPZE models require the servicing of the relief valve assembly. First, remove the piston from valve cover. The relief valve assemblies are uniquely designed with air venting through the center of stem to prevent dirt from entering the top cover. For easier serviceability, the piston simply unscrews for easy removal of parts. You may use an Allen wrench to loosen the piston from stem, then remove and replace diaphragm. Unscrew the disc holder from stem to remove and inspect silicone disc for damage. Should any parts of the relief valve assemblies need replacement, Flomatic has repair kits available. You may also temporarily reverse the silicone disc until a replacement is available. Make sure to inspect the removable stainless steel seat for damage. Remove the seat by simply pushing it up from underneath into valve body and then removing. Before reinstallation of the relief valve, you should apply an FDA-approved lubricant to O-rings. When you are ready to reinstall the relief valve, make sure the holes of the diaphragm and the holes in valve cover are properly aligned. For your added assistance, the diaphragm is marked with two slots that indicate the correct placement of the diaphragm. The slots should be aligned with test cock number two and pointing toward the first shutoff valve. Check valve servicing half inch through two inch. The RPZE models require the servicing of the check valve assemblies. Each check is held into place by a stainless steel spring clip. Standard pliers can be used to remove the clip. To remove, position the pliers around the spring clip tabs and take care to squeeze the tabs fully together with a secure grasp. Angle the clip away and pull out a groove. For your safety, disengage the spring clip inside the valve body before removing. Next, use a straight blade screwdriver to carefully pry the check out of groove. After removal of all internal components, inspect the sealing areas within the valve and clean them as needed. Flushing the system is recommended. The check valve assemblies consist of an unleaded metal stem, a stainless steel spring, a plastic composite seat, an O-ring, a stainless steel washer, a silicone disc, 
and an unleaded disc holder. Once the check has been removed, inspect the seat and O-ring for damage by running a finger along the seat profile. Next, use a wrench to unscrew the check stem from disc holder. This wrench is the same wrench used to remove the cover bolts. The silicone disc can then be removed and inspected for damage. Should any rubber parts of the check valve assemblies need replacement, Flomatic has repair kits available. The silicone disc may also be temporarily reversed until a replacement is available. Upon reassembly of check valve, Make sure to place stainless steel washer beveled side facing the silicone disc. After the inspection is completed, rinse all components thoroughly to remove any foreign material. You should also apply an FDA approved lubricant to O-rings before reinstallation. After you have finished servicing your check valves, simply replace them into valve body. Begin by lowering and firmly pressing the check valve into valve groove. Lower the spring clip into valve body. Squeeze the tabs fully together with pliers and position spring clip at a slight angle into bottom of groove. And then fit and release into groove. For additional information, please call us at 1-800-833-2040 or visit us online at www.flomatic.com.